Agent called me and was like, you going home? And I was like, what you mean I'm going home? <laughs> I'm already home. And it was like, no, you going to play in Detroit. They just traded for you. And my heart dropped. It was just like, man, like, it's a real moment because, you know, for me to play for the Pistons, you know, it's big time. Oh, man, it's huge. The veteran experience, you know what I'm saying? We need them. That's what the Pistons need. They got a lot of good talent, a good veteran, you know, from Flint, from home, come in. Oh man, that's perfect. That's right on time for the Pistons. To be honest with you. Get clean, throw my buffies on, man. <laughs> throw my buffs on, man. I got me my first, my first checks, 2018. Yeah. The whole time I play the Pistons, I gotta go get it. I gotta go get it. It was like a trophy. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I ain't certified until I got a rollie and some buffs. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, you from here for sure. Get around. Yeah, I'm gonna shake the back out. Say good, though, huh? Yeah. Basketball is something that that changed my life, changed people around me life, you know, my family. So I just want to keep having fun with the game and um, enjoying what God put me on earth to do. And that's to, you know, give uh, my knowledge and feedback and hope to the, the youth and uh, just keep having fun with it. I remember Bunty Morris coming down the street about 5, 6, 30 in the morning. He wore about 5, 6 basketball one summer. <laughs> oh, he, he going, go, do, 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 do. And you know he had to be here, so he be going like that. <laughs> And the community need this, you know, and um, we gonna keep doing more like this to bring the community together and, and just shine light on it. And none of this wouldn't be possible, you know, without without Tom's work. Um, you know, he's done a lot, a lot, a incredible job, and uh, he's really diving into this community, and I respect that because um, we need it. You know, it's a lot of a lot of stuff. Man, you can look around; it ain't the best the best place to be, but this would groom me, and this how. I got a chip on my shoulder to make it out and be successful. So none of this is possible, you know, without time. So I always, you know, take my hat off to him and um, got a big respect level for what, you know, he does for, you know, everybody. Head up, head up, head up. Thomas had the 
there is no tomorrow without a today. And today, thanks to that spirit of collaboration you see all around us, the kids and families in this neighborhood have even more reason to celebrate. So thank you for having us and enjoy. Just a Flintstone, like, camaraderie, like, me growing up, like, I always wanted to go to Michigan State, like that. It ain't paying out that way, but, like, just seeing that kind of, like, inspired me to, like, just, like, get on my grind and get scholarships. We all come together because we love the game of basketball, you know, and it transcends to, to life, man. So watching you come up, man, and see you take the torch, bro, it's a beautiful thing, man. And I know future ba Flint basketball was in great hands when, when you came out, so. Torch down. Already. It's just the beginning, man. We're going to keep going, you feel me? So, 100. Testing, testing. Where am I looking at? Me and you going to have a conversation. You bet, so I'm looking at you. Yeah. That was It's tough. It's tough, man. Um, man, I mean, being a kid, you never know if you're gonna see tomorrow, man. I just know for me, I didn't really know, you know, living past 18 was was a thing, you know what I mean? Um, I had a friend, my best friend was, was 16 when he got when he got killed, you know what I mean? So being being young and burying friends early, it just defeats you, man. You know what I'm saying? So you just you don't really know, you know, when it's your time, but it's just like Flint is tough. It's just, you know what I mean? It's, it's tough to make it out of. And if you can make it out of here, you can make it, make it out of anywhere. Tough, hard, but fair, you know? That's, that's, that's how I see it. I mean, it's, like I say, you got good sides, you got bad sides. You got good people, you got good people. But overall, Flint is a community. It's, it's a tight-knit community. And they, they back each other. And they want each other to excel no matter what. It's going to give you what you make out of it. You know, you can be tough and you can go the right way or you can be tough and you can go the wrong way. Um, it's just all about what you make out of it. Flint is Flint. For me, man, like, you gotta wear this Flint thing with pride. Like, I go to LA, I go to different, like, I say, they say, where you from? I say, from Flint. I say, they're like, oh shit, you, you Flintstone. Like, that, that make me feel good, man. It's a, we got a foundation of where we come from in the culture. Man, uh, first of all, Flint is a special place. You know what I mean? It's a lot of tradition uh, from this small city. You know, it's, it's two things we do in this city. We make cars and we make basketball players. And you know, the spirit of the game is within us. I'll tell you, when, he, when I first met Monte and his, his mom came to me, matter of fact, he was in the second grade. And she was like, he want to play. And I'm like, like he kind of little so I said let me see what he can do the kid can dribble and he can get the ball up there so I'm like the rest of it is gonna be real simple uh, he, was, he was a good kid he didn't do too much he um, hung out with his friends but if he had practice at 1 o'clock at 1230 Monte was coming in the house telling me to take him to practice he didn't care who was outside what they were doing he was just ready to go to practice didn't get in any trouble on a roll student I can't say anything bad about him not anything. You're talking about a kid that grew up that was ahead of his time. Coming from the eighth to the ninth grade, you could tell that this kid was special. Coach Mike Williams that had me, he told me in the fourth grade, you know, I was going to be a pro. And I had a mutual friend uh, of his mother tell me, you got to go see this kid play. And I went to see him play. And uh, in, in my heart, I said, this kid's a pro. He already knew what he wanted to be. He was already a pro in the fourth grade. So just coming back in here give me that feeling, I gotta run, because that's, that's all I know. Like when I come in here and practice, you miss a layup, we was running sprint. Because he believed in himself early, had a great mother who supported him, who held him highly accountable, uh, but encouraged him and motivated him to go out and do great things. If he didn't want to play, he didn't have to play. With Coach Spencer, you know, we, put a little team together and it was a traveling team. If Monte would have said he didn't want to play on that team, I would have said okay. I love this community. I love the Beecher community. 
So I grew up out here. I graduated from Beecher. I didn't want kids coming up to me asking me for money. So I, I made it a point to, to teach discipline, to teach respect. Coach Spencer was the first one to tell me about a follow through. He was the, you see, when I was shooting, he was talking to me. He means so much to me, man. Just every time we would lose, I would grab my jersey and cry. And he was like, don't cry. You're going to learn. You never lose. You're going to learn. It's a lesson. So like when I lose, I don't really take it as a loss. I just feel like I'm learning. And he always installed that in me. But bro, I can keep going on about him. I have two girls as daughters. I don't have any sons, but I I put my thumbprint on a lot of young men in this community, and Monte is one of them. He planted the foundation for all this, and you know I'm I'm getting emotional to talk about it because like I don't really I don't really talk to him like that how I should, and you know he taught me everything I I really you know what I'm saying I really know so I really won't be here without him. Him going to Iowa State, I didn't care where he went. I just wanted him to go to college. That was my main thing. Whenever I talk to my players about where do you want to go to college, it's not my decision. Because one day they're going to be grown men and they'll look back and they'll understand that they'll know if I manipulated them or if I swayed them one way or the other. When we went on the visit, I was looking out the airplane window and I'm like, oh, what are we doing here? We land and it's just all dirt, nothing there. And I was like, yeah, there's no way I'm coming here. And then we get to campus with George and Yang and all those guys. And it just felt like at home, man. I looked at him and I said, if you never play basketball again, can you see yourself coming here? And he said, yeah. It was humbling, because, you know, being a big fish, as they say, in your city and area, I thought I was kind of untouchable. Like, I'm the best thing smoking, you know? And then I get to college, and I got humble real quick. But it just showed me, you know, somebody always out there working harder than you. So I try to always kind of work as hard as I can and let the chips fall where they may. So that was a great wake-up call, and I needed that but it shaped me and my work ethic to this day. Hooks a pass out to Morris, a three left corner, got it! I was ready to make that jump. You know, my junior year, I could have came out, but I tore my AC joint. Um, and I came back my senior year to be all time in steals, career wins, and assists at Iowa State University, a great university that I've been up for a very long time. So with three Big 12 championships and four time NCAA tournament appearance, there's nothing else I could do there. Stolen by Morris! Morris drives it the other way and lays it in. Flante Morris, the steal and hoop. The all-tournament team and the most outstanding player for Iowa State University, Peter Gar, Flante Morris. The one thing that he knows is, I mean, if you don't have your degree and you went to school, why wouldn't you get a degree if they're paying for it? So when my mom was um, going through her sickness with cancer, I think they had a talk and she asked him to stay in college. And in his junior year is contemplating coming to going to the NBA. I said the NBA is gonna be there. Get your paper. The basketball accomplishments, I love them, but that degree can't nobody take that away. <sighs> I think I love that more than any award he's ever gotten from Mr. Basketball to anything, just the degree. Just knowing he has his degree. Only thing you, you can say about him is if this kid here get with the right people and put that work in, you can see special things happening for him. And that's what he did. You know, my mother actually called me and told me about Monte. You know what I mean? He's a skinny kid. Remind me of you. You know what I'm saying? You should check him out. I was already gone. You know what I mean? Um, and I'm, I'm watching. I'm like, hey, like, you know what I mean? Linky. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, I see some similarities or whatever. And um, he's like, man, I'm in LA, man. I want you to train me, get me ready for the draft. And the rest was history. And kind of just raised up, raised up right there. Because I wanted to make sure he made it. We, he's one of us. He's one of me. We from the same. So if he make it, I make it. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to put everything I had into into Monte Morris, man. And um, 
man, I, I can honestly say, man, I, I, I give that dude my all, you know what I'm saying? Cause he give it back to me, you know what I'm saying? Proud moment, uh, just cause I know that's where he wanted. That was one of his dreams, one of his goals. It was a real proud night for me. Yeah, he was already a pro. It was just a matter of where was he gonna land. I was in Flushing, Michigan, um, had a draft party. My whole fam came out, all my homies. Everybody from high school came out. Draft was at seven. I ended up getting drafted at 11.47. I got it still in my phone. 51st pick, 2017 draft, Denver Nuggets select Monte Morris. With the 51st pick in the 2017 NBA draft, the Denver Nuggets select Monte <laughs> I was just like, yes. And then when he whispered in my ear, you know, I'm going, watch what I do. I was like, oh yeah, we ready. You know, everybody was telling me, go and draft him, man, you can pick your destiny. Denver called me and was like, look, we're gonna put you on a two-way. You're gonna be the four-point guard on the depth chart. I said, let's take it. I think if he just straight went to the Denver Nuggets, I don't know if he would have showcased like he did in Vegas. You know, so I, I just feel, and that was the conversation we were having, just, you know, go do your thing. You, you know what you gotta do. Don't worry about it. And in the G League, you have players who are trying to make it to the league too. So you gotta pick and choose. And like I told him, you, you, gotta, you gotta get hungry out there. And he did. And one, Monte Morris with the finish. Your, your thought on, on, on Monte when he came in midway through the third quarter and really kind of got it cooking. Yeah, I guess just what impressed you most about what he was doing on the offense? And everything. Um, getting to the rim, making shots, uh, getting to his spots. You really can't look around, you can't afford it. Smart play. He's got to take those when he's open. Morris in the corner, knocks it down. You know, it's just Monte Morris's night from a shooting perspective. This is his 20th point of the night. I bet on myself always, and it panned out for me. What's your first game you remember Monte playing in the NBA? I actually remember G League more than I do. Oh, let's talk about no, it. No, I'll say when he, you know, I'll say when he played the Pistons also, because um, we were wondering when he was going to get in, and he finally got in. So I do remember that game. Murray sits down with big numbers, 28 points. Gary Harris, 8 points, 9 assists, 6 rebounds, and 4, kind of 4 steals. There's Darrell Arthur. Bill how, how much that make you feel to have that much support? It's big time. Um, a lot of people came out uh, tonight, not just my relatives, uh, just people that support me. You know, since I was younger, since I was in high school, so I'm just gonna show love and uh, just excited to see them as they is see me. Yeah, well, that was. They talking about shape. We've been in shape. You hear me? You hear me, Twin? Oh, man. We was born running, man. It's easy. Trey, we was born doing this shit, man. Uh, I'm locked in, really, you know, on the season for sure. You know, if we had a game tomorrow, I'll be ready. But um, I'm definitely locked in and just just have fun with basketball, man. And, you know, just soak this up, man. Like, I'm the neighborhood hero, and everybody going to be coming to Little Caesars Arena, watching the Pistons, watching me. Um, and I'm just here to try to win as many games as possible and just have fun, man. Make sure my mom got a smile on her face, my family's OK. And um, just taking care of people, man. That's just me. That's been my MO and giving back to the youth. So if I can do all that in 365, 
it's a win for me. It don't matter the outcome after that, but then my goals. Keon's a guy who, he got my best interest. You know, he just want to see me be great. Um, and I try to build guys around that. So whenever you see me, I, I'm always with my brother Trey, Keon. But when, they, when people don't see me with them, or they don't see them with me, they're like, where Trey at? Or vice versa, Trey called me like, yeah. They, people are asking about you, that's how close we is. You gotta have good people around you. You know, you can't have those yes guys that, that allow you to do some of the things and knowing that it's wrong, knowing that you shouldn't be doing it. I built this thing up on loyalty. I built this thing up on people when, from day one and Keon's one of those day ones before any bank account, any dollar was in my bank account. You have to have people around you and surround yourself with people who has your back and your front and Keon does a very good job. But for me, I'm not a yes man, so I'ma tell him the real. You know what I mean? I'ma give him to him, I'ma give him the real. He could be mad at me, but he gonna look, he gonna, one day he gonna look me and I'll be like, like you, you know what I'm saying? Thank you. You was right, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'ma never steer you wrong. Keon's a guy, he just wanna strive for greatness. He got a great mindset, he got a beautiful daughter. Point at the camera. Say hey. Hey, hey. hey Lane, this finna be a breeze. <laughs> I swear to God, if I break a nail, I am going to go off. So I do not want to. That's what I'm saying. How many games? Like three? It had to be like. Man, you ain't knocking this down. You ain't got touch like that. Yeah. 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 From here on out, I'm doing nine sparrow or strike. Nothing less. Mark that. Turn me up, Cruz. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, some little slides. Comfortable. I got to be comfortable out here. You know what I'm saying? You know, I can't bowl in the bowling shoes. They ain't comfortable for me. I be sliding. I got to. Mr. Potato Head here having a look at it. Always wanted to graduate. Look at that. I'm so icy, so icy. Look at my boy. Hey, Martin. Good morning, Arizona. Everybody, put their drinks up. I just want to say I appreciate all y'all. Um, this is just a good step. You know, do something special here in Flint, in Detroit. I'm looking forward to it, man. So. Let's have a great season, great year, stay healthy. Everybody more life. I was sitting at the table in the house and his agent called and he said, Monte's getting traded. And I'm like, okay, good. And like, where? <laughs> and he said, Detroit. And I was like, what? Because that wasn't any of the teams that we had heard. And I'm like, wow. And I just sat there and he'd be like, wow. And so all I could keep saying is wow. Because I didn't know, I'm just like, this is gonna get crazy. Because I know he's coming home. Yeah, my agent called me and was like, you going home? And I was like, what you mean I'm going home? <laughs> I'm already home, man. They was like, no, you going to play in Detroit. They just traded for you. And I, my heart dropped. It was just like, man, like, it's a real moment. We at home. He at home, man. He back. Um, Mr. Basketball. Um, the, the neighborhood hero, you know what I'm saying? Like somebody who used to walk up and down these streets dribbling the basketball as a little kid, is back home. You know what I'm saying? Everybody love him here, man. Be honest, man, I, 
I lit up, you know, when he was, uh, when he came over to the Pistons. It's a beautiful thing, man. And, and I mean, the city, the Detroit, they're going to love him. Oh, man, I can't wait, man. I can't wait to get down there and see some games, man. It, it, it's going to be amazing. Now I don't have to be on my couch watching Monte. I can get up and go to, go to some games now. You, I mean, for the kids around here, it's great because they actually can see it. You know what I'm saying? You hear it, but now you can actually, it actually resonates with you because he's a Detroit Piston. But I know when I'm in the gym, I think my baby plays better. So I think he's going to do OK. Never see me coming. Top of the morning, top of the morning. So you better start what's up, what's up, what's up? What's up, what up? baby? How are you? Love you. Love you, too. He's not one that's going to come make an appearance and leave. He's going to be there the whole time. He's going to be engaged. He's going to you know, talk to all the kids. He high fives them. He shows them things. You know, takes time out with them. <laughs> well, we gonna work hard. We gonna lock in. So bring it in. One, two, three. Lock in. Let's go. Let's do it. This is a. This is a great day for Flint, Michigan, you know, for Monte to come back and throw this cap, you know, for these kids uh, to be able to touch him, um, ask him questions, you know, and, 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 and really, like, believe that they can make it as well. Days like this really mean a lot because kids can see that their dream is attainable by Monte shaking hands, doing drills, talking to the kids, having fun, and that's what it's all about. It's amazing, though, this hometown, man, we always dream of this when we was kids, so. Feeling it's surreal. You know what I'm saying? Got Keon right here. He ugly. We going to three. This is for the culture. A big world out there. You do not have to be satisfied. Anything is possible. You know, um, none of us never knew we, you know, we could make it here. I mean, I just want to be inspiration, a hope. Just let them know if you stay in the books. It's so hard to make it out of here. I don't want it to be like, I know it's a basketball camp, but I just want to teach life lessons. I have watched people take from Flint for so long. And I've tried to give everything I can to this city, this area. He's the best representative of this area. His, it, this is what this area needs, it needs people that, that want to give. Tay, man, keep being you, bro. Um, you, ch you changed my life, bro. You changed my life, for real. And I, um, I know you're going to see this. I don't ever, you know, I don't, I don't wear my shit on my sleeve, man, but, you know, I got a daughter. You, you, you treat her like she's yours, bro. And, um, we gonna keep riding, bro. Anything you got me, I don't care about the NBA. I don't care about none of this, bro. It's just about real love, bro. So I'm, I'm rocking with you till the wheels fall off, man. And um, just know I got your back through anything. I don't care what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Me and you locked in for life, for real. Everybody ain't gonna make it to the NBA. You can be successful doing anything you put your mind to, and that's my goal. I just want them to look at me, 6'2 kid, right out of beach, you're like, anything possible. That should be enough right there, you know? Just let them know anything possible. And my job is done. Mm, Flint, Flint know how I'm coming, man. I don't, I wanna just say I love him and I'm a, with my play, they gonna know how I'm coming, that's my message. Say you can't come home again, but look at this, I'm back. And at times it feels like I never left. 